Hello, my name is James Ramirez and I'm back today with another Stardust tutorial. It's actually an update to uh, one of my more popular tutorials, which is creating a uh, scanning effect with Stardust. So if we look here on my uh, YouTube, I have this video called Creating UI Scan Animations with OPJs. And uh, this is the video where um, I was creating this effect. And the uh, problem with this is that it was a, a really randomized way of creating the animation and so it's based on the uh, uh vertex sequence is kind of like how the emission works inside of stardust but i didn't really know how to control that and i didn't know like how you could change that uh luckily in the comments i've pinned this uh dara h has found the solution they have said that if you change the vertex order in 3d software you can then kind of really art direct where that effect is coming from and where it animates to so i thought i would show this inside of maya and let's take a look at it so uh, first things first what you want to do is make sure under settings preferences plugin manager uh, that you have the nearest um, sorry mesh reorder.mll uh, is loaded and you can also set it to auto, auto load you can search for it up here if you want to find it it's called mesh reorder and what this does is enable a couple of tools to help us uh, reorder our vertices and so let's if we go to display um, polygons component ID vertices this will give us a uh, identifier for all of the uh, vertices on our object so here you can see all these uh, numbers um, and you know like however many vertices are on this object um, and they're basically all kind of randomized right now because of how this uh, skin was put together this is just some 3d model that i found online uh, what we're going to do is actually uh, make those based on a selection so i'm going to turn this back off by going back to here and now under uh, mesh tools or sorry edit mesh uh, there is a reorder vertices. Again, this is going to be grayed out unless you have enabled that plugin in the uh, settings. So we're going to click on this and it's going to take you step by step through what it wants you to do. It wants you to select three vertices in the order that we want uh, that our point emanating from. So we're going to pick his nose as like a centralized point to have it cascade backwards. So I'm just going to select um, these three points here. It's going to tell us in the corner down here uh, that it went through the mesh and finished and it's done. And so we're gonna save this out as a new mesh. So I'm gonna hit export selection and we're gonna do uh, the same name, but I'm gonna call this uh, fixed maybe, I don't know. And let's jump over in After Effects and see what is happening. Okay, so this is our setup we I have done our same setup that we had before. I have an emitter, it's set to object. And again, this is using the emit emission type sequence. And so it's using the point order to draw on the particles. And I have it emitting at a high particle per second. There is no speed, so they stay in place. And uh, it's using the edges of the uh, geometry. And then for our particle, we have a short lifespan of two seconds. Uh, color over life and we have it an animating from a bright color uh, down to a darker value um, and then our model is being piped into our emitter and that is where our model information is coming from now again this model is the one before we change the point order so i'm going to ram preview this and show you what that looks like and you can see that the points are all over the place uh, there is no rhyme or reason to what is happening it is basically kind of however this scan was put together from a point cloud or merged geometry or whatever we are seeing it kind of populate all over the place and then randomly by this point order so this obviously isn't a great animation this isn't like that helpful or interesting it's kind of so random that it doesn't create uh, a, a cohesive look so now let's swap out this model i'm going to press uh, Control h on the model to swap it out and I have this fixed one. So I'm gonna import that. And now we'll see right away that the point order starts from his nose and carries downward. And maybe it's not perfect. It still looks like it's hitting a couple of weird patches, but uh, it definitely is more in line with what we expected. So I'm going to actually, I mean, let's play this real quick. 
Um, I'm going to zoom into his face. You can see we have a we're emitting a lot of particles here, and our particle size is is pretty big. So I'm going to I'm going to change our particle life to one, and I'm going to set our particle size to like 0.1. Um, I think that's a better particle size and then the actual edge uh, subdivision maybe I'm just gonna lower this to like oh whoa, whoa my bad my bad my bad maybe lower this to five half of what it was um, that's like a less dense mesh and then um, I mean maybe we can go ahead and leave it at two maybe two is fine and so then let's replay this and you'll see that um, the OBJ sequence has quickly went over all of the vertices and then now it's going to circle back around and hit that nose first outwards uh, animation and again so like this is a more controlled way of those having those vertices start exactly where you want and then you can uh, play with this and, and dial this into your process but I think this is like super helpful and trying to uh, art direct this look and make it a um, more controllable effect uh, again, this is like I was just kind of playing with this and I haven't uh, done this too much yet, but I do think that this is like a, a really cool way to have control over this effect. Um, hopefully this helps you. Thanks again so much to um, our comments. That's so helpful and glad that you watched the video, Dara, and you uh, left a comment to help educate others. Um, let me know if this works for you. Um, and yeah, I'll keep playing with this and then I'll upload some, uh, more results and, and see if like, you know, like this is like the exact solution that works, but I mean, you can already see here that we have a much more controlled effect. Um, all right, that's it. Just trying, wanted to do a short update video. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll get some more videos out soon. Sorry. I've just been so busy. Uh, it's been like a crazy, uh, beginning to the year and just been kind of really slammed with projects, but I have a lot of tutorials that people have asked me to do and I hope to bring uh, some of those to you soon. So um, stay safe out there. Thanks again for watching and catch you in the next one. Thank you.